Jeremy Larkin, host of the St. George Real Estate Morning Drive, coming at you from, well, technically we're coming at you from Santa Clara, to be honest. <laughs> there you go. I've got Jesse Paul in the studio. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I know that seems kind of, uh, what's the word? Anticlimactic. Guys, this is, a, the, this is our first ever broadcast. Actually, st- through the studio, we're with Andy. We're looking at Andy. Andy, you look extraordinary. By the way, we did lose Andy's audio, but I see you smiling. And when I said he looked extraordinary, I got a visual. I, I, I got... Yeah, we, we, can, we see you. I saw elation. I saw happiness. Uh, guys, we're moving this... Uh, we're, we're taking the St. George Real Estate Morning Drive after 12 years. So the first show that we ever did was in February of 2012. That, that was way before my time. Like f- uh, three years before yeah. my time. Yeah. The, the world has changed. My world has changed in so many ways. The first show we ever hosted, and this was with Canyon Media at the time, we were fiddling around with our buddy Carl Lamar. Love Carl. Carl still endorses See, and supports there, our team. I did not know that's where it started. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Carl's still involved. Uh, and yeah, we're, 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 we're cross pollinating radio stations. And then, you know, over time we just realized that, that there were just some logical reasons we moved to Cherry Creek radio and then Cherry Creek became town square. And you know, the one thing that hasn't changed, I feel like I want to cue an incredible ballad about me being here. Richard Marks right here waiting. I'll be right here waiting. I've lost my hair. I've gone through some major family changes. Oh, that's that would be that would be so good. We got through some some stu, some station changes, and today, guys, we are now broadcasting um, from the Blue Form Media uh, podcasting studios. And moving forward, here is what's so fun, Jesse, is when this show is wrapped up, not this second, but in the next week, mm-hmm. people will be able to go and watch the entire program on YouTube. In in gorge, I am looking at the color right now, thinking right? even it's we beautiful. look good. Yep. You do look good. Thank you. Yeah, your audio. You're with us, Andy. Yes. Yeah. I, I tried another button and it worked. So we're good. Literally. Just, just, so, just start. Uh, pop, pop, it pop, looks pop, like pop. I'm the only one missing there. So they won't yeah. be able to see my pretty yeah. face. Yeah. That's there beautiful. No, this is so fun. Like we're looking at you right now. So. Oh, are you? Yeah. Oh, you're, oh, you're, you're not inside the, the, the. I'm not in the meeting. Yeah. We, we should invite him in, you know, so. Um, we might want to do the same thing if possible, Blake, invite him in uh, Jesse at go St. George.com. Same, same type of thing. Absolutely. Um, you know, uh, Blake and Mallory are here and um, helping us set this up guys. This is really exciting. We're taking this to a full podcast platform. And so you'll be able to find this on all of your podcasting, your preferred podcasting distribution point. How do you like that? This has been a long time coming. <clears throat> do you remember I yeah. think it was 2017 when I kept saying, man, we need to record this. We need, so I started showing up and I was behind the camera recording for Facebook, doing the best we could with what technology we had. And that's actually how I got on the show. You kept talking to me be- from behind the camera. I would turn and, to Jesse uh, and say, don't you agree? Don't, yeah, and I'd be like, well, they can't hear me anyway. And finally he just said, get over here. How are we seeing? And uh, the rest was history. How are we seeing? We're seeing someone's. Oh, we're seeing uh, Blake's. Uh, at least uh, I am seeing. It's awesome, Blake's calendar, guys. This can be fun today. It was fine. We're going to go ahead and and share a screen today. I'm like yoga. By the way, yoga was on my calendar this week, Blake, or was that Mal's? Who who went to yoga? Oh, or, that's Mal for sure. Okay, Mal went to yoga. Okay, dude, Blake, you need it. I think you need it for your stress. Oh, I, I, I do go. It's not as much as her. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So uh, this is a lot of fun, you guys. Um, we, we've got these guys here, Blue Form Media, and just there's so much. Jesse, you nailed it that you were screwing around behind the mm-hmm. scenes. Yeah, and then we brought Jesse in, and he has become so strong in the radio. I want you to to check out another program that runs on. Actually, it's running on KSUB, right, Jesse? So you're running. Uh, what days are you and McKinnon running on KSUB? So every other Wednesday. City. So not we weren't this week. So next Wednesday we will be there. Yeah, every other Wednesday KSUB, which mm-hmm. is kind of Cedar Cities. Andy, how would you even describe it? I mean, wh- wh- what station is that on? It's five ninety a.m. and yeah. they're basically the KDXU of Cedar City. Yeah, KDXU of Cedar City. That's Beautiful news station. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Andy, just so you know, we've run through Mike McGarry already. We can we run can through, run you, through also. you also. We got an yeah, echo. Just mute well, since well, Jesse. I got it. Yeah. We. I mean, we got rid of Mike McGarry. We can get rid of Andy. We can get rid of anyone. Oh, ouch. Andy, here's the deal. Wow. We, this show, Andy, this Don't show, get rid of me. we we plan to... Yeah, we, uh, he retires them. Yeah. We, oh. we, we plan okay. to outlive and outlast 
every on-air personality. All right. Now, my my boss told me I had to stay for five more years. You guys going to be around five more years yep. doing oh, this? Dude, I've already done 12. Oh, you bet, man. We'll be here. I've already done 12. We're going to talk to you a little bit about and, – and this is kind of fun. So, guys, you're listening to us in in real time. There, there, was, there was very little test. In real time, we are testing this – this programming out for you, right? And so, like, th- th- this is this is in the moment, right? Uh, Jeremy Larkin, first time in this, first yeah, first time, time in the studio. studio. Jeremy Larkin, host of the St. George Real Estate Morning Drive, we're with the Larkin Group Home Selling Team, KW Realty. Uh, we have to give the legal disclaimers, guys. Want to thank our incredible uh, show partners, uh, Guild Mortgage, Sunwood Homes. Uh, we kind of ran out, ran out of product at Sunwood Homes, basically. I think we have two units, the only two remaining units at Desert Ridge. These are honestly, I think they're the coolest townhomes around. And uniquely, they have a 60-foot driveway, this massive approach to the two-car garage, fully fenced backyards. And you're going to want to visit mysunwoodhomes.com. Chantry Abbott will have him in studio in the future with Guild Mortgage. You can, and, almost land, you can almost land an airplane on that driveway. That's it's so long. Depends on how good you are as a pilot, <laughs> right? I mean, that's. I mean, isn't that what this is about, Andrew? You know. Yeah. So uh, yeah. if you're a great pilot, you can land it on there. So I think this is kind of a good segue because today we're going to talk about real estate. You guys kind of figure that out about our, our our program. And there is a baffling dynamic, and but yet maybe it's not baffling happening between St. George and Cedar City, Utah. Yeah. Let me set the dynamic up. I would dare say it's not. Well, if you had been around Jesse when I was 10 years old and people would brawl between Dixie High School and Cedar City and Cedar High at the basketball games and the Cedar High gym, then I would be then you would know that opinion. this is actually now, there is now, Enough. there's an official thing between the cities <laughs> with real estate. I'm just kidding. Oh, that's good. But what's happening is, Jesse, what's happening in Cedar City as compared, as compared to St. George, like, like, by the way, in overview terms, what is the dynamic that we're seeing in the Cedar City real estate market right now compared to St. George? The Cedar City market is much more on fire. Like they, they are just a good example. Which is odd because there's snow on the ground this morning. I guarantee. Well, and it, it typically doesn't pick up there till April, May. Yeah. And it started at the end of January mm-hmm. where we just started seeing compared to last year, more than double the homes go under contract yeah. year over year. And so, and it's just not the same intensity here in Washington County. Now it is busy, much more different atmosphere than last year, but not quite as intense. Yes. Just think about this a minute, guys. The rivalry is alive, right? Here's what killed the rivalry, by the way, between Cedar and Dixie High. All the new high schools came in. Mm. So- Pineview happened in 19, I think Pineview came on the scene in, was it 80? I want to say 83. Is that too early? Or is it 87? It was 87. Well, my brothers graduated in 87. I had two brothers graduate in 87. So, uh, which is also a fun story because they're not the same age. But my one brother was adopted. This is kind of fun. And when he went to this first day at East Elementary, downtown St. George, Andy, he cried and he was sad and he missed his brother, Travis. Yeah. Tim, Tim was adopted like days old. So they kept Tim home from East Elementary. Guys, we grew up three doors away from East Elementary, which is now Atwood Innovation Plaza. So they kept him home for a year, and those guys did all their school. They shared a room, everything for the rest of their lives, and they're amazing. My brothers are – I mean, I'm so blessed. Is that so fun? So I, when they graduated, I think it was 87, and Pineview came along. And then lo and behold – Snow Canyon High School and Desert Hills and then Crimson and then Hurricane, where Jesse lives, Hurricane High, decided to become like, you know, kind of a grown up town and compete. Mm -hmm. And so now the rivalry died, Andy. Andy, what's the rivalry now? Like, we're going to jump all over today. What is the right? Andy literally live, live does color commentary for how many schools and yeah, stuff all, all of them here and uh i think the biggest rivalry probably pineview desert hills right now i know mm-hmm. pineview dixie was is one that's been around for a while but if you say rivalry cedar maybe cedar canyon view at this point is, is what's yeah, left yeah. For right that's a good one is see yeah. guys this is all real estate related. so now they're just rivaling within each other yeah well and and, and from a real estate perspective 
people absolutely choose where to live based mm-hmm. on schools. And <laughs> yeah, the darling true. currently is Crimson yeah. High School. Mm-hmm. So Crimson is the darling. It's before the news- that it was what Desert, Desert Hills. Yeah, and probably. Before and before that, it was Snow Canyon and, and yeah. so on and so forth. Poor my Dixie. kids, Poor my Dixie. kids, listen, a long time my since kids since. go to the inner city school. Okay. Right. All right. And actually I live in the inner city. There is no inner city, but you oh, get my good. point. <laughs> I do live in the inner city, uh, just above main street, above diagonal, above ancestor square. Okay. So this is fun. So we have a re- rivalry. Cedar city real estate market is officially I mean, <laughs> it's, it's going. We are, we are like, we're blown away. And, and I have a theory and that Jesse had, and I asked him this morning on the phone, and you said what I was already thinking. I was rolling on my foam roller during this conversation. I said, Why do you think that Cedar City is more active than St. George? And your answer was affordability. You can still actually have, and here's why I say affordability because in Iron County, the median um, income is not that far off from Washington County. So it's pretty similar. So for the median sales price to be $120,000 lower is a big deal. Okay. Talk to us about those numbers, Jesse. So the median sales price for 2024, year to date, um, in Washington County is $515,000. Okay. And in Iron County... It is 397. Okay. Wow. I want you to say that again. So Iron County. For some of us slower so kids that are still median, learning. Median sales price. That just means it's right in the middle, right? Mm-hmm. Is 397, 450. Yes. In Washington County, it is 515,000. Yes. So there's a difference there. And there's not that big of a gap in in family income, right? Yeah. It, it, it's It's... It, Probably Is it a big enough the, difference, Jesse, that people would live in Cedar and work in St. George? Is, I, is it worth it yet, the, the, the price gap? I don't know that there's a lot of people doing that. But when you think of, let's just say, Washington County, how much of our, how many of our homes are actually second homes? I uh, Pause this. Before we ask the question about second homes, I'm so distracted because Jesse is now, that's hilarious. I see it. So what happened? Jesse joined... I get it now. Blake, I get it. Jesse joined and I joined and then you guys joined. That's why we see ourselves in here twice. This threw me off yeah. for a minute. Guys, we're trying to do a live radio broadcast. It's two but, angles. I like it. But every single time I see Jesse twice, like my heart swells. Oh, because you, I'm there and there? Yeah. No, I'm seeing you twice <laughs> on my screen. Oh, are you? Twice really? and, yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So you'll see it right up there. That's too funny. We'll play with this over time. Oh, I wow. just had to have a moment where I was going... I have that effect on people sometimes, you know, where yes, I just you, show up. You I do. have so much energy. You, sometimes I show up twice. Do you twice. know what my father said? I've told you this <laughs> growing up. Every single, and this is the most, the, the best part about it is my dad is the most humble, gen, generous, kind. Yeah. He's like, every day I wake up, I look, in the, I'm better looking. And it was just a joke he made. What right? is it that I say? How, said, did, how did I become happy? That's like, yeah. And good looking. I just told myself. He told himself. Good over looking. and over and over. You guys had no idea this is a personal development program. Yeah. So now I'm going to go back to your question, and we'll figure this. We'll figure this multiples in the screen thing. Yeah, Here, so here's the question. Because it's whoever's talking shows up right there, huh? So, oh yes. So if you look at the question that was asked, how many are second homes? So Cedar City and St. George are 45 minutes from each other, right? Yep. I mean, we get there faster, but let, when we're in a hurry. But let's let's just say that they're 45 minutes apart. But they are so different in terms of the demographic that's really attractive. Yeah. yeah, Everything is Yeah, I I think you're making a really great point. And the really great point is that people are moving here for so many vacation reasons. And you have to realize, guys, people pick vacation properties in the world almost exclusively based on one of two extremes. Either there better be snow in a ski resort and a ski resort. I didn't say snow. Or it better be warm-ish in the yeah. winter. And this reason I say ish is St. George is definitely not Florida. And we're also still not Vegas or Phoenix. You know, Phoenix is 10 degrees warmer today. So Cedar City doesn't have either of those. By the way, because Brian, because when I say snow and or a ski resort for a vacation property, I mean on site. Like Cedar City is not a ski town. Right. Does this make sense? Yeah, that's, that's Cedar City just happened to have a ski resort like 40, 35, 40 minutes away. It's just... It's that's circumstantial, right? 
Cedar City is a college town. I'm probably beyond anything. Mm-hmm. And there's actually now a fair amount of what we would call blue collar manufacturing type yeah. opportunity there. And more coming. More coming. And more coming. In. Yeah. Every year there's more. St. George is what kind of community, Jesse? We said we finally confessed it in the last year. Taurus community. We're a Taurus community. We're a resort yeah. We're a resort community. town. Yeah. We finally decided to come. Listen, guys, we've come clean. So, this so is I a resort go, community, and it ain't ever going backward. And I want to go back to Andy's. So maybe some of those are community, but I think a lot of a lot of it is people that are just priced out of St. George. You know, whether that's second homeowners, whether that's investors, mm-hmm. um, right? Because 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 honestly, the rents aren't much different either. Mm-hmm. They're not. They're not proportionately. They're not that much lower. So an investor can still go to Cedar City and for the most part, find something that will cash flow if they're getting a loan. Correct. That's not necessarily true in St. George. Correct. Correct. Because of interest rates. So I think there, there's a lot of different reasons. So guys, this, this is fun. This is a perfect segue to say, if the median sales price in St. George is five what? 515. And in Cedar City, it's 391? Mm-hmm. 398. 398. 398. 398, 397. Guys, it's a $120,000 difference. $120,000 difference in a median sales price. Mm-hmm. By the way, visit GoCedarCity.com. And we have two sites. We operate GoSaintGeorge.com and GoCedarCity.com. And, you know, the, 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 <laughs> the, this is a big deal. You know, I've, I've shared our screen here. Go Cedars. This is GoStGeorge.com. And, you know, you come in here and you can play around. Here's the fun part. You can actually search Washington County, Iron County, or the Wasatch Front from this website. And in the future, I want to tell the story because we're using the Blue Form Media Studios in Santa Clara. At another date, I want to tell the story of the day that I went trashed out the foreclosure here on Santa Clara Parkway back here and oh. thought that someone had died in the home. It's such a good story. Yeah. It is so it is great. a good story. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like once a year, right, Andy? Like yeah, once a year, tell. that story is coming out. Blood uh, and everything. Blood. Yeah. There was blood. It was a whole thing. <laughs> My gosh. Clowns, so, things like that. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, there were masks, literally masks and wigs in the in the yeah. garage. It was so weird. So, guys, yeah. when you come in here, there's a couple things you can do on our site. Go com. You can find a home. So, here's what's so fun. You can come in and just be like, eh. I like 84770, all right? And you can search by zip code, all right? This is one way you can navigate it. I think this one's interesting, by the way. You see this right here, Jesse? Yep. Yeah, I see it. That's that home right across the street from the cemetery. We look at, we can, if, the, if there are no leaves on the trees. Oh, yeah, we can see it. Like, we right, see that right, right out of our block. office windows. That's oh, 682 East, 100 South. It's a big old house. It's more than 1,300 feet. There's something wrong with that calculation. It's probably 2,600 feet. It's probably 13 up and 13 down. And it's actually a, um, it'd be great for student housing. So you can search in here by zip code. You can come in here and say, you know, I actually only want to be in Santa Clara, Utah. And you could go ahead and you could search by city. And I actually wonder, can you come in our website? Greater, if I could type greater St. George. Boom. You can type by greater St. George, which by the way is, Ivan's Santa Clara, St. George City, Washington. Look at that, Washington. This site is wicked, right? You could search by Hurricane Valley, which would be Hurricane Laverick and and Latokerville. Latokerville. That's right. Okay. That's for the insiders. By the way, uh, did you want to see? Now, here's the deal because we have access to the Wasatch Front through this website. How super cool is this? You could find out that it'll cost you. $3.7 $3.7 million to purchase a five bed, six bath, 3,500 uh, square foot home uh, in Park City. Or you could spend for a one bed, two bath for eight, 877 square feet. You could buy one for nine ninety five. And right. I should have purchased in Park City decades Years ago, ago right? a decade ago. So I want you to come over to guys. This is gostgeorge.com. But the other thing you can do, and this is my big consideration, and you can do this at gocedarcity.com as well, but we're in St. George. I want you to visit GoStGeorge.com and just click on home value. Mm. And when you plug in an address, let's plug in an address actually um, 
144 South, 200 West. There you go. So that's, the, the reason I'm plugging in that address is um, that's actually a home I own. It's just not the home I live in. It's like a rental I own. So we're going to go in real time, right on the air. So I come in here and I say, view home value. Would I like to proceed? Well, it says edit. When it says edit, I can come in and make sure the address is correct. Okay, that's all fine. And I say, go ahead and view the home value. All right, how would I like to proceed? And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug in an email address. And let's just go ahead and plug in Larkin at George.com. That's my business email address. And I'm going to plug in my name. And I'm going to plug in a phone number because why wouldn't they? 862-8467, right? I want you guys to actually see how this goes down. So this estimates that this little old home that I have downtown is worth $422,124. It gives me a range of 387 to 457. And there are some cool things you can do here. One is you can request a cash offer or at, right. We, we work with a group of investors, including ourselves mm -hmm. that can write you an immediate cash offer uh, on a home that would be like to close in 30 days. This means no photography, no showings, <laughs> none of that nonsense, right? Assuming that we all come to an agreement. All right. The next one is get a professional valuation. This is a, this is a computer generated thing. Right, we're talking about the fact that median home price in St. George is five fifteen, and in Cedar City it's three ninety seven, one hundred twenty thousand dollars difference. The question is, how much equity are you sitting on? Right, what's in your wallet? That's good. Hmm. You know, we should probably, maybe we should use that as a catchphrase. Oh wait, Capital One's been doing it for twenty years. <laughs> so, Jesse, you see this stuff? Yep. Uh, and what's fun is it says, how do we calculate your home value estimate? Well. It pulls from two data sources. One is called CoreLogic, and one is called Atom, A-T-T-O-M. <clears throat> and as we wrap our show up, it's, a, it's an automated valuation. One minute. So, yeah, one minute. The final minute, if you want us to look at, really look at, look at this, it'll actually show you comparable sales and listings in the area. Guys, this is phenomenal. Yeah, that's you good. can edit the facts and be like, three bedrooms, it's a four bedroom. Right. But if you would like, we can produce a professional valuation and tell you exactly how much equity they're sitting on, Jesse. And that becomes important, like, because square footage sometimes shows up weird. So you can go in there and edit it. And Absolutely. Show up it the can. actual true square footage. Yeah. Absolutely. So, guys, look, go see, go stgeorge.com. If you're out in Cedar City, go cedarcity.com. Here we go, Jesse. Right. I mean, we're, we're moving into 2024 with a vengeance, we are guys. ready. Watch for the St. George Real Estate Morning Drive uh, on YouTube and in your favorite podcasting platform yeah, this moving is forward. Gonna be, this is going to be cool. It's going to be a lot of fun. Andy, thanks for hanging out with us. Jesse My Paul, pleasure. Jeremy Larkin, The Larkin Group, Home Selling Team, KW Realty, over and out. All right.